Today is the day we will be ruining our 35 combat Stadius Warhammer account. And I have a special build in mind I wanna create. This is the first time ever you can reset your account after getting combat levels and completing quests. This means you can unlock some quests. I'm thinking specifically on this one, Lunar Diplomacy. You can unlock Vengeance and still be a pure account. So let the grind begin. And that's Lost City requirement completed. There we go, 61 crafting, another requirement knocked out. And there we go, Fremnic Trials completed. I was supposed to put on my XP gains for this quest, but I guess uh, we'll have to manually train our XP up. Alright, 61 mining. This is one of the final requirements for Lunar Diplomacy. These levels are we gonna get in the next combat bracket. I did knock out some requirements for King's Ransom quest for Piety, because I'm gonna need it for the 1 versus 1s in a few weeks. Since I just upgraded in my combat bracket, I get one hour of immunity, so I gotta use this time very efficiently. And that is the holy grail completed. One thing that I didn't calculate for is the fact that I need to move up one combat bracket after completing this quest. So now I'm in the 71 to 100 combat bracket. But you know what? It's fine that I upgrade to the next combat bracket because uh, I will be resetting the account anyway once I complete Lunar Diplomacy. All right, we are still alive even without protection. No one was camping this place. And there we go, Lunar Diplomacy completed. We have now officially unlocked the Lunar Spellbook. All right, one positive thing about being up in combat brackets, you can unlock Dragon Gloves, Barrow's Gloves if I get to 101. Uh, we're gonna get 101 combat right now, so we can uh, get those Barrow's Gloves and then reset. Here we go, we're going to our spot. I don't think anyone is going to be here, um, ever. So we're just gonna AFK these rats. My hardcore Iron Man spot is coming to use! Hold on! I forgot about supply drops, look at that! But there we go, 101 combat. Before resetting my account, I actually completed King's Ransom quest, and I also did the Mage Arena for the Magic Cape. Oh, this is a PK, he might kill me. Here we go, I might die now. Corp is not for sale, he calls me a pussy, good fight. Alright, we got one life left now, perfect. And before finally resetting the account, I decided to test my luck at Barrows. Bear chest number two, let's go, we got an item! A good thing's plate body, kill count number two. Barrel chest number three. Oh my god! <laughs> Double chest! Aram's top and Tarok's help. Oh my. And, and it's a back to back too. Alright, is this going to be back to back to back uh, Barrel's items? Here we go! Oh my god! Another one! Tarok's plate legs! Let's go! So this is currently my deposit box, but I just found out that after resetting your third life, you lose all the items in your deposit box, so I just gave it all away to a friend. So doing barrels was for nothing. I've been hopping words for 20 minutes, I can't find anyone. I just need someone to reset me. This is the man, Pally is the man who's gonna reset my account. Ah, oh, there we go. Congrats Pally, you get my bank key. We're gonna offer Def all my combat experience. We are back to level 3. Still 877 total level, but now we can build from scratch and make ourselves the pure I wanted to make. There we go, 52 prayer, 1 inventor of bones, and there we go. 36 combat, we can move up one bracket. After rebuilding by PVMing and skilling, I managed to get myself 1.2 mil cash. And I even got lucky and obtained myself a dark bow and granite mall by uh, trading successfully. I have a good merch from my side. And if we go down here and we can buy ourselves Barrow's Gloves. But the question here is, can we use the Barrow's Gloves? We can use the Barrow's Gloves only. I, I was unsure about that. Let's go. Time to stay here by the rats for the next few hours until we get 94 magic. No way, nah, nah, we actually got, oh my god, we got a surreal staff, let's go, <laughs> I did not expect that, it's time to leave, 75 magic, protection, 5 minutes left, can't believe I got a surreal staff on the second to last kill, that's an item for the deposit box, beautiful, and pink lays right there, scary, alright, uh, we are stacking up on the deposit box, 
It's looking better and better. It's time, finally. 94 magic, we can now cast Taste Vengeance. I haven't tried swapping spell books, so we're gonna try that real quick. All right, we are here. Let's find out if this works or have we wasted 20 hours of our time. Changing spell book works? No way. No way, is that actually a thing? You need a base level of 40 to use Lunar Magics. I've just wasted my entire life on this build. And I can't even use Vengeance on this account. There is absolutely nothing in the wiki that states that we need a defense level to use the spell Taste Vengeance. Lunar Diplomacy obviously have the 40 defense requirement, but after completing the quest I didn't really know that you also needed 40 defense to cast the spells, so maybe it's my fault here. Alright, we're gonna do the best of this situation, even though we can't use Vengeance. Uh, we are gonna train range, move up in combat bracket, get that 60 defense, and we'll start venging people people in the medium combat bracket between 7 to 1 and 100. No reason to cry, let's move on. There we go, 70 range, a little upgrade here to black the eyed chaps. This should be the quest completed, there we go. We get 57 attack and 57 strength. Very quickly, still 7 to combat. There we go, dwarf cannon completed. And that's the 7 to 1 combat bracket achieved. We're gonna log out so we keep our protection here. All right, the plan is simple. We are going to use our one hour here at Elder Kills Roots. They're combat at one to nine, they drop PVP weapons, and we can use a cannon for a quick range experience. There we go, 40 defense. We can now officially use Vengeance. Here they come, a group of three. Oh, we got a sigil, our first one. What is this? Sigil of Preservation. Sigil of Preservation worth 118k or 110k. Beautiful, I'll take that. All right, and that's our protection timer pretty much over. Uh, we ended up with 85 range and still no good, good drop. Um, very unfortunate. And there we go, 60 attack, upgrade to D skim, train strength, let's go. There we go, I think that's the last one. Oh my god, look at the XP drops. 69 attack, 64 defense. 68 strength, 87 combat, 78 hit points. That was so worth it. I'm super happy, let's go. I decided to leave my rat basement because it got boring and we get emblems from Slayer Task and we get weapons from Slayer Task and PvP items from Slayer Task, so everything makes sense that you killed stuff in Willy. Look at that, we got a peek here. here. A barrage peek here, oh no. <laughs> He's freezing. He's freezing. Easy escape. I actually think I'm gonna sell this surreal staff. I'm not gonna use it for the final hour So it's just a waste of having it honestly, so I'm gonna sell it. What's the price on this? So with the money, I'm gonna buy some stuff probably a bad trade from my side because I got very basic items here Here comes the level. There we go 70 defense and that is going to be 70 prayer We have unlocked piety Alright, we, we're actually gonna continue for a few levels. We're gonna get 74 for rigor in case I unlock it. And that's 74 prayer. Uh, we're gonna get augury another time. What the fuck? No way. Oh my god! Oh my god, 2 HP. 90 range, beautiful. And that's the task completed. Whoa, tier 5! 1.5 mil points, beautiful. I'm actually gonna sell the Dark Bow. I kinda wanna have full DH. I think that would be more fun. And I don't seem to get any kills from this. Here we go, this should be the level. 94 range. Time to do some barrels. Boom, we're gonna have anti PK gear as well. I just know I'm gonna die straight away. Another chest, kill count 9. Beautiful. You love to see that. Arium's rope skirt. Straight into the deposit box. That's worth a lot. That's worth so much. That's an item secured for the final hour if I decide to go magic. Alright, good luck. A coif! We got a coif! No way I chanced him. I hit a 9 on his 55 HP. I could have pk full Arium's, Serpelm, Carols. Never lucky. All right, good luck to me. Darox X, let's go. And I add another item. Good luck, good luck. Good and sound, best in slot helm, beautiful.
Oh my god. <gasps> no way! He got me! Ah, oh, this game is so depressing! I see the... What a bad, bad episode. What did I even lose? I lost so much. Wait, I got my deposit box. I still got the deposit box, but that was such a bad death. Alright, at this point, it was a bad ending. But we're coming back. We're gonna max this account. Get ready for the one versus ones. It's not over yet. We still have two lives. Thank you for watching.